He madring kila ma tulunga pala mitya daya mudhadiko Maudyang na kanivasinang bhaya pararvakya riva prartitaha Nili shambara nila mambara talang jambu palamayayang Tangun changir mambarang paramrishan lambo darapatumam Vamang nyasya vapusa masta jagatang mata pita chetarat Yat padang bhujanu purot bhavarava shabdar tavagyash padam Yan netra tritayang samasta jagatang aloka hetu sada Paya daivata sarva bhauma giri jalankara murti shiva Salutations to the Supreme Lord, Shiva, the pure awareness in the sky of consciousness in the heart, by meditation on whom Ganesh, Guha, Mother Shakti, who is the embodiment of Shiva's grace, and myriads of devas, saints, and devotees have attained their cherished goals. From the sky of consciousness of the heart springs forth the dancer, Nataraj, with his blissful consort, Freedom, to the delight of his devotees, who are thus liberated forever. Unto that Ananda Natesha do we render our devout salutations. Namaste. So recently, I had another conversation on Zoom with Richard Clark. And in this video, we played a piece that I composed and recorded of the invocation verses of Ribu Gita. Now, let me give a little background. The invocation is in Sanskrit but the translation is from the Tamil version of Ribu Gita. And the reason that is so is because Ramana Maharshi favored the Tamil version, naturally, being a Tamilian himself. And he used to read it to and with his early devotees and in the Ramanashramam. And Richard discusses the history in that video that I linked to. So what I want to get into here is how this recording was made, because it's an interesting story, and it also sheds a whole a lot of light on how we do these videos. So I thought I would do a kind of behind the scenes uh, narration of how these videos and uh, songs and recordings come to be. So let's take a look. So this is my workspace, my studio, <laughs> what there is of it. And uh, since I moved to Sri Lanka, it's very spare, as you can see. Uh, I have more stuff, you know, but it's, a table can only fit so much gear. So I usually leave it non, not set up unless I'm actually using it. And here's my good old trusty iPad Pro. Well, actually, it's my new trusty iPad Pro with the face recognition. 
and all that good stuff. And this is where the journey starts, on the internet, looking for the texts, because the texts are really the root of it all, and this is how the work develops. So it starts with doing an internet search for Ribu Gita readings. I wanted to see if there were any recordings of Ribu Gita, and of course my own recordings are the ones that show up first. But I did find this uh, on Sri Ramana Maharshi.org, and it turns out they have a whole list of MP3 recordings of a nice sadhu chanting the introductory verses. He matrim kila matulunga palamityadaya modadikaha. Great, what a find. Now the next step is to download the MP3s. So now we're going to download the MP3s. Download linked file. Great. So here it comes. It's downloading the file now. So the next step is to start a recording. So I'm going to open up good old GarageBand. And I'm going to create a new project. And since we're going to start with this prayer, I'm going to uh, create a track with a microphone. Oops, where is it? <laughs> it's always the last one, right? Here we go. So now I can simply import this file that I have already created. And the way I could do that is by opening my files app. And navigating to the audio, Ribu Gita. As you can see, I've downloaded a bunch of these files already. And here's the intro prayer. So, okay, let's go back to the recording. Open files as a overlay and bring that in. There it is. Now you can hear it. Sri Shivara Hasyam Shankara Kyaha Shashtom Shaha Pratamo Dhyayaha He Madrim Kilama Tulum. So now we have the whole two verses. He Madrim Kilama Tulum. And we have set the tempo. So the next step is to create a harmonium and extract the melody. So let's do that keyboard. First of all, what key are we in? Sounds like G. So let's put a drone underneath this. Okay, so then we can just loop this and it immediately comes uh, underneath the whole thing. Now to get a harmonium sound, we have to use an external instrument. So let's use um, 
synth one. That's better. Turn the volume down a little bit. And we're going to need a keyboard. So here's my little travel keyboard, which is very handy and works very well with these instruments. So now we're going to record the keyboard, the harmonium, along with the vocal. That sounds pretty good. So let's go back to our recording here and let's listen to the vocal and try to match the tempo and the melody. So here's our recording, and importantly, now we can edit this. We can edit it, and as you'll see later, transpose it into a different key if it's not the right key for the voice. So now this is pretty complete. We have the tabla, the drone, all the instruments. There's only one little problem. It's in the wrong key for my voice. <laughs> it's too low. But fortunately, there are all kinds of pitch transformation uh, plugins in Logic Pro. So let's move the whole project over to the Mac now that we sketched it out in GarageBand.